Good morning. We are back at Chena Hot Springs. Stayed again at 48 Mile Pond last night. Didn't really film anything. It was the same place since yesterday. We're going to go to the Ice Museum, which is like kind of like an ice hotel, I guess. It's right there. I believe it's $20 for an adult, $15 for a child, and then an additional $15 if you want to have a drink and an ice glass. And I think I'm going to do that just for the experience. There's a playground and a couple other things that we can do that I think are free. We're just kind of hanging out. And then we'll head back to Fairbanks tonight and make our plan to start heading to Denali. Hopefully the next thing you'll see is some cool footage from the Ice Museum. Here's some of the things you can do here besides the hot springs. And they've got like everything. Some of them are obviously for winter only. Wow. Look at it. Come here, honey. Oh, it's ice. Yeah. Don't touch it. Remember, that's one of the rules not to touch. No. No. Wow. I know. Scrapped it for one big one. This is the Palace Pet, 2003 second place world championship winner. Over here, we have the chapel. The chapel was built in 2006 for Stephen Heather's wedding. Since then, their daughter and about 200 other people have been married here, uh, including the guy by 11 o'clock yesterday. Uh, we do big weddings between tours, so we try to keep them kind of short. It also helps avoid cold feet. The handprint in there is not for your hands. That was for the Holy Bible, but people kept putting their hand on it. Now the Bible just falls shut every time it gets set up. So try it whenever you guys would like to uh, go grab a drink. I'll meet you up there, and I'd be happy to serve you. Make sure you guys have your IDs. It's an igloo. It's <laughs> oh. Let's crawl out. The different designs of the ice. Ooh. Guys, be careful on the stairs over here. Okay. Look, there's flowers, Tallulah. In the ice. <laughs> Look at those. Wow, so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so you can rent out these rooms for $600 a night. Oh my gosh. Look at this bed. Look 
Good night. Are you warm? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Night. I like this room. There's even, looks like more up there. <coughs> oh, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I just woke up from my nap. Oh, I see. Whoa. I don't think you can go up there. I think you can't. Mm, not us, anyway. I guess like, this is a shower. Is that a bathroom? Bye. Yeah. Wow, look at that. This is super this is cool. cool. It's like an animal hide. That's the Alaskan flag. Oh, it's not the Alaskan flag. Mm-hmm. What is it? Beautiful. Sir, I'm going to recommend that you take a sip of that before you uh, pick it up. Tool is going to eat the glass after I'm done with it. <laughs> She's just in awe. Uh, look at that face. Oh my god. If you don't mind, sir. And your IDs. Nice. Yes. Should we do a cheers? Yes. Cheers. Ready? One. Cheers. Think it. Think it. Think it. Thank you. A little hard to drink out of because of the I'm like this filling. Into your pocket. Let's do one. Oh, it's good. Oh, apple tea. My one drink here. Delicious. Mind the deck. It's we. We are at the uh, ice cave. And it gets the pretty cool right there. There. Oh, hold on. Go down some stairs. You've got this. Over here. We've got. I don't know if you noticed, but we've got a chandelier, and we have a castle, yeah, and we've got the, uh, that little guy, Booger, awesome, we're about to see the beauty. We are in a little place. Yeah. We're gonna go out. <laughs> she broke my heart. She ran out with my 57 Chevy and another guy to Alexander, Louisiana. Did I mention the 57 Chevy candy apple red strip and roll for the seats? No, I'm over. It doesn't bother me. Did I mention the 57 Chevy? 
she left with another guy. She left me. I was engaged to her. The police chief saw her. Give me a break. That's B.C. before Connie. I've been married 44 years to the same woman. B.C. before Connie. No. Feel this right here, sir. I want to, you tell me. I want, you, I want to know if that wasn't cold. You tell me she wasn't cold. Just feel right now. You tell me she wasn't cold. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. You tell me she wasn't cold. She was one cold. Did I mention it was a 57 Chevy? It doesn't bother me. I'm over it. You just have eight, a car. 8,000 pounds of ice. 600 hours of work. Look at the night as he rises in the saddle. Eight, now look at the, look at the night as he's thrown back in the saddle from the impact. <laughs> the difference is going to put out to the 5% yet and the 5% to put into this artwork. The chandeliers each have 70 crystals, 5 huh? pesos. They are frozen in time. They go next door and they sleep in the belly of the bear. They have a bear, a bear, or a bear, bear, a bear. I promise you, that table. Full time. And it's been reported that the man has a very cool school. We don't make the news, we only report it. We are fair and balanced. No, fair and balanced, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, look at the artwork, look at the rose, look at the flowers inside this ice. Is it not beautiful? Really? These guys do, they do amazing work. Look at you. There's your methane bubbles that come up from the bottom of the lake. Are you getting warm? Yeah. Yeah? It's a bit chilly, but... <laughs> By the way, that's ice. It's not fire. Oh, is it? That's no, pretty cool. Yeah. Cool, I can have my glass. Yeah. <laughs> Empty, though. Empty. Yeah, you can't have what was inside of it. Only mommy could. Yeah. But the good news is I get to eat. Okay, this is my idea. I think I might need a new ice cream. No. Real caribou fur. Kind of sad. Okay. Oh man, I didn't even see any of this stuff. Okay, Tula and I just got uh, our very first souvenirs for ourselves from Alaska. And they are gold nugget rings, matching rings. Mine is there at the bottom of my grandma's ring. And Tula's is right here. So we've got matching little genuine Alaska gold nugget rings to match. If anybody wants to adopt a dog that really needs a home that's older, this is a pretty great program. What is it? You can adopt uh, retired sled dogs. These are the caribou. The antlers on this one right here. I thought I was recording a second ago and I wasn't. Right here, this one. Uh, they're probably five feet, like 
tall, long, tall, wide. <laughs> anyway, they're huge. It's really hard to tell. I don't know what the story is with these guys. I don't know if they were injured and that's why they're penned up or if they were just captured for tourists. Hold on, honey. Um, we got to see one in the wild, which was really special. Getting some scratches. And then these guys, chickens and goats, living a happy goat life. Are you living your happy goat life? Yeah, I love goats. Me too. Yeah, I do. Chickens seem happy. Mm-hmm. Such a gorgeous boy or girl. I think this one's a girl, honestly, because it doesn't have horns. Mm. I wish that big one would stand up. It's so massive. Look at that pupper. another pupper curled up in there. Maya spotted another pupper. And a lot of times we would take our grandkids up by ourselves and um, their, the parents would come up. Are you protecting some eggs? Mom, Mom why don't give your friend a hug? She's laying. Hot springs. Beautiful flowers. Oh, I guess you can gold pan over here. What? Looks like you can pan for gold over here. Big old airplane over there. Guess it's officially retired as of two days ago. And they're gonna make it into something new. Not sure what though. Okay, we're leaving. I have yet to see an airplane take off. That's a pretty long runway. Today's broadcast oh of my gosh. No, big big in part by generous support from an so All right, we are back in Fairbanks. Uh, a few things about China. The first 20 miles, uh, once you turn on to China Hot Springs Road, is really bad. Um, lots of frost heaves. Take it easy. Second thing is there's plenty of pull-offs. Lots of people parked by the river, so there's no shortage of free places to park. No need to spend the $20 to camp at China just because uh, you're going to be spending a lot of money there. Anyway, so you might as well camp somewhere for free, use that money to swim in the hot springs or, you know, do something else. It's fun. Anyway, that's it for today, and we'll keep you updated tomorrow. I'm here at Walmart, and I'm getting all kinds of RV renovation ideas. I uh, got one of these, the copper color, but like, it's not very expensive. Hmm. <laughs>